In January 2012, Versamatic launched the newly enhanced Dilemmatic Air Distribution System. This change was made to provide a reliable, superior performing air distribution system, delivering improved efficiency, fluid flow rates, and the ease of maintenance. The enhancement is currently being incorporated in the majority of E-Series pumps, E5, E7, E1, E40, E2, and E3, built new after January 3, 2012. The improvements are encompassed in two of the main assemblies that are found on most air-operated diaphragm pumps, the main air valve and the pilot valve. Throughout this instructional video, Versamatic will demonstrate how easy the conversion can be made and how these enhancements will increase flow and or air efficiencies, in most cases both, reduce cost of ownership, improve ease of maintenance, and improve the consistency of the initial build and rebuild. Pictured here are the components that comprise the enhanced Elimimatic air distribution system. There is variation in the engineered improvements depending on the size of the pump, but the values in the advances are consistent. Key elements in the enhancement of the air valve include a replaceable valve sleeve and additional spool glide rings. Key elements in the enhancement of the pilot valve include a single piece pilot sleeve and replaceable pilot spool floating o-rings. With these two assemblies, we will demonstrate how easy it is to upgrade your existing E-Series pump to the new air distribution system so that you too can improve your pump's performance. We will also highlight how the enhancements will benefit every aspect of the pump. Identifying your unit has become easier with the new permanently affixed metal tags that indicate what revision level the pump is, as well as the wet end and air end kit information for repair in the future. Most units that are not a revision C may be eligible for this upgrade. In order to update your existing E-Series pump, you will need the new air valve assembly and the pilot valve assembly, easily identified in the reverse compatibility guides. These guides can be accessed in the distributor portal at versamatic.com or by contacting your local distributor. The pump we are using today is an unenhanced E2 built prior to January 3, 2012. This unit is being utilized as an example to show the ease of upgrade. Always consult your owner's manual before doing any maintenance on your pump. Here are the tools you will need for the upgrade. Remember that these are the tools being used for the E2, and while the sizes will change based on pump model, the style will remain the same. 5 seconds inch Allen wrench, 1 half inch socket, 9 16 inch socket, 1 inch socket, 3 8 drive 3 inch extension, light grease, half inch ratchet, 3 8 inch ratchet, snap ring pliers, half inch combination wrench, 9 16 inch combination wrench, 1 and 1 16 inch wrench. During this demonstration, the right side of the screen will show the components of the enhanced air distribution system. Key items will highlight as they are discussed. Previously, the E2 had the suction and discharge manifolds removed. To start, use an Allen wrench to remove the air valve assembly. In most E2 and E3 pumps, the replacement of the air valve assembly with the new enhanced air valve will show increased efficiencies and or increased flow. A pilot valve assembly replacement is not required to affect the change in pump performance. To see the differences in the air valve assemblies, remove the end caps from the air valve body. You can retain the end caps and gaskets for later use in the rebuild of the enhanced version. Slide spool out of body. The non-enhanced spool incorporates four glide rings. The air valve body incorporates a non-removable sleeve pressed in from the factory. To replace the pilot valve assembly, Remove one of the outer chambers. Leave the opposite outer chamber on the unit to secure the diaphragm when removing the outer diaphragm plate. Loosen and remove the outer plate, diaphragm, and inner plate. In some instances, the diaphragm rod will loosen from the opposite side. This is not a defect. Remove the assembly and set aside for the rebuild of the unit. 
Now remove the adjacent outer chamber. With the outer chamber removed, you should be able to remove the outer diaphragm plate, diaphragm, and inner diaphragm plate as an assembly connected to the diaphragm rod or as individual unattached components. Set these items aside for the finished rebuild of the unit. You can now access the pilot valve components. Loosen and remove one stop nut from the pilot valve shaft. Set stop nut aside for reuse. On the same side that the stop nut was removed, loosen and remove the bushing. Utilizing the original stop nut, replace onto the pilot valve shaft hand tight. On the opposing side of the pilot valve shaft, completely loosen the bushing. With the bushing removed and the stop nut replaced, use the loosened bushing as a handle to remove the pilot shaft spacers and the pilot shaft o-rings. The non-enhanced pilot valve assembly employs five spacers and six o-rings, two bushings, two stop nuts, and a pilot valve shaft. Side-by-side -side views of the assemblies, a few noticeable distinctions become evident. The pilot valve assembly, originally consisting of multiple components, is replaced with a solid sleeve and an upgraded spool, incorporating floating pneumatic O-rings and precision control. The air valve assembly features a sleeve that meters the optimum amount of air that the specific pump size requires. This optimum amount of air improves efficiency and diaphragm life. The enhanced spool introduces two additional glide rings for improved sealing. To continue with the upgrade, remove both inner chambers from the center block. On the center block, locate the pilot valve assembly port. In most cases, this is the smaller, solid through hole in the center block. The single piece pilot sleeve offers ease of maintenance and consistency of build. This is accomplished by eliminating the need for multiple spacers and O-rings, requiring coherent loading and alignment procedures. Employ a light amount of grease to the replaceable O-rings on the single piece sleeve. Light grease is also applied to either of the ports of the pilot valve bore in the center block. Grease is applied to keep the O-rings from catching, binding, or cutting while inserting the sleeve into the bore. Slowly press the sleeve into the bore. Confirm the sleeve flange is true against the center block and that the snap ring groove of the sleeve can be accessed. One snap ring is now used in place of the two bushings to limit the movement of the pilot valve sleeve. Place the snap ring on the end of the sleeve. Confirm the snap ring is seated properly in the receiver of the sleeve. Both inner chambers can now be replaced. Alignment of the inner chamber is important to allow airflow to each chamber. Inner chambers have no left or right side. Confirm port alignment with the airflow port in the center block. E2 and E3 units require additional modifications to the inner chambers when upgrading pump. Reference the Versamatic Pilot Valve Upgrade Tech Bulletin. To help visualize the installation, only one inner chamber is shown being replaced at this point. The precision controlled pilot spool with floating pneumatic O-rings is designed to boost Versamatic's commitment to on-off-on reliability. Lightly apply a small amount of grease to each of the replaceable floating pneumatic O-rings on the spool and to the entry side being used of the sleeve. Slowly insert the pilot valve spool into the sleeve. Leave the spool marginally exposed to aid in the application of the spool retainer o-rings. 
The O-ring retainers replace the need for the use of wrenches to remove the stop nuts and are less cost than the single-use nylock stop nuts. Lightly roll the O-ring retainer to the receiver groove on the pilot valve spool. Press the spool in until the retainer restricts the movement. Repeat the retainer installation for the opposite side of the spool. With the original or a new self-aligning air valve gasket, line up the gasket with the corresponding bolt holes in the center block. The enhanced air valve body is identified by the omission of the permanent valve sleeve. The enhanced air valve body is designed to receive the precision ported replaceable air valve sleeve. The body further reduces the cost of ownership, improves ease of maintenance, extends the end service life, and increases rebuild options. Install the O-rings on the air valve sleeve and lightly grease each one. Lightly grease the entire bore of the air valve body. Grease is applied to keep the O-rings from catching, binding, or cutting while inserting the sleeve into the bore. Slowly press the sleeve into the bore until the ends are flush with each side of the air valve body. The enhanced air valve spool now contains six glide rings. With the two additional glide rings, superior sealing and valve longevity is obtained. Self-adjusting glide rings create tolerance to handle poor air and particles, further reducing the cost of ownership and extending the in-service life of the spool. Place the spool into the bore of the new air valve sleeve and slowly press the spool in. Compression of each glide ring may be required to fully insert the spool. Confirm the spool moves end to end of the sleeve. Spool and glide ring combination may feel considerably unyielding to movement, but will self-adjust. Restore both end caps to the valve body assembly. Confirm gasket and end cap alignment is correct. The smaller fifth hole centrally placed at one end of the gasket must align with the corresponding placement on the valve body and the keyway tab on the end cap. Make sure to match the hole alignment of the air valve assembly with the air valve sealing gasket and the center block in order to install air valve assembly properly. Complete the rebuild of the Versamatic pump utilizing Versamatic genuine parts and elastomeric repair kits. Though the E2 was used in this demonstration, the nature of the ease of this update applies to all E-series pumps. On most E-series pumps, immediate benefits can be seen with the replacement of just the air valve assembly. Shown in the Versamatic test lab, the advantages of replacing the air valve assembly can be seen in action. The resulting improvements were 16% increase in flow, and the unenhanced air valve produced an efficiency ratio of 1.41 to 1 which increased to 1.54 to 1 with the changing of the air valve to the enhanced valve. This is a 9% improvement in efficiency. The enhanced air distribution system will show similar results on most E-Series pumps. Through this instructional video, we have shown the benefits of the enhanced air distribution system. In the E-Series pumps, the enhanced valve sleeve and the additional glide rings will improve flow and air efficiencies while providing ease of maintenance and a reduced cost of ownership. The enhanced pilot valve assembly provides consistency of build and rebuild and further exemplifies Versamatic's commitment to on-off-on reliability. Take advantage of the new standard for air distribution systems by contacting your regional sales manager, your local distributor, or Versamatic. Versamatic is dedicated to supplying quality products to the market and being the world leader in innovation. Thank you for your continued support of the Versamatic brand.